Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to talk about creating and validating HTML5 web pages. If, like a lot of web designers, you're itching to begin making websites in HTML5, it can be tricky to know how and where to start. So in today's video we're going to look at the new HTML5 doc type, show you some helpful HTML5 tools in Dreamweaver CS5, and finally explain how you can validate your HTML5 pages. When creating any HTML page, the first thing you need to declare is the doc type. The doc type is an essential page declaration that informs web browsers what version of HTML the page is written in. When creating a HTML5 page, it's imperative to use the new HTML5 doc type declaration, which looks like this. The idea behind this new, shorter declaration is to stop versioning HTML so that backwards compatibility is easier. If you have Dreamweaver CS5, you may have noticed that you can now create a HTML5 page giving you a simple blank HTML5 document with the new doc type declaration. However, something that surprised us in Dreamweaver CS5 was the code hinting doesn't include new HTML5 tags. We think the simple reason behind this is that HTML5 isn't finished or finalised. What Adobe have done though is create a free HTML5 extension that gives developers support for the currently implemented HTML5 tags and features. The extension is called the Dreamweaver HTML5 pack and includes a number of features such as HTML5 code hinting, support for CSS3 and an improved design view rendering. If you use Dreamweaver CS5 and experimenting with HTML5, we'd recommend installing the free extension. The final point that we wanted to cover in this week's video was HTML5 page validation. If you're a designer that likes to ensure all of your web pages are W3C compliant, you'll be pleased to know that the correctly formed HTML5 documents will validate. If you go to the W3C validation website, you'll notice that HTML5 is available under the list of document types. So whether you choose to upload your files or validate them via a link on your web pages, if coded correctly, your pages will validate. We hope our introduction to creating HTML5 pages has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on our supporting blog or on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.